How's it going? Welcome back. Yeah. Showtime. The Chunin Exam, an event jointly coordinated by the Hidden Leaf, Hidden Sand, and other neighboring nations to bring their Genin together to be tested. However, in truth, its primary purpose was to allow each nation to demonstrate its military strength in a small-scale mock war. The three friends, Naruto, Sasuke, and Sakura, successfully applied the teamwork they had developed during their previous missions to pass the first and second tests. For their third test, they were matched individually against other ninja for the right to advance. Naruto was pitted against his ninja academy classmate, Kiba Inosuka. I'll never lose to the likes of you! Easier said than done. Let's see what you could do! If you're my opponent, I've already won! One day I'll be Hokage, so losing here's not an option! <laughs> You, Hokage, keep dreaming. Never underestimate me. Yeah. Hop. How fast? You're slow. Think fast. Zoom on. Cool. Phew. Hop. Ha. Better than I thought. Who? Who? Take that! Too slow! Hiya! Yeah! Kia! Woohoo! You! Ha <laughs> One day I'll be Hokage. So losing here's not an option. As the spectators watched the stunning upset unfold, they began to realize the extent of Naruto's ability. And so did Naruto.
As the tuning exam preliminary matches came to a close, it was time for the finals to begin. Naruto was matched against Neji Hyuga, considered the mightiest genin of the Hidden Leaf. Neji had completely dominated Hinata Hyuga in the preliminaries. But after being ridiculed with the phrase, once a loser, always a loser, Naruto vowed to avenge the insult leveled against him and Hinata. I'm gonna win! Now, you'll learn the hard way that no one can alter fate. Ha ho! You can't defeat me. It's not your destiny. I'm not losing to some coward who goes on about destiny or whatever! I look forward to your look of despair when you realize the truth. Ah, oh, yeah! Ow! Too slow! Hop! Hop! Ha! Who? Not too shabby. There's a reason. Not losing to you, God, people. Not a chance. Over here. Ha! Yo! Ha! Hop! How's that? See ya! Who? Who? Hiya! That's what I'm talking about! Oh, unbelievable! How oh, could I? Don't give me that crap about nobody changing fate! What a bunch of garbage! Cause unlike me, you're no failure. It was Neji who once said, one can't change destiny, in reference to the fate of the Hyuga clan's branch house. But drawing inspiration from his fight with Naruto, he began to believe that he could, in fact, alter his destiny.
The sudden conflict was an unprecedented disturbance for the Hidden Leaf. Hiruzin Sarutobi, the third Hokage, faced off against Orochimaru amidst the raging maelstrom. As one of the legendary Sanin, Orochimaru had once been his student. Orochimaru's goal in inciting the conflagration was to bring about the destruction of the Hidden Leaf by his own hand. He also hoped to abduct Sasuke in order to use his superior body as a reincarnation vessel. To defeat Hiruzen, Orochimaru employed the forbidden reanimation jutsu to summon the first Hokage, Hashirama Senju, and the second Hokage, Tobirama Senju. His aim was to instigate a fierce battle between Hokages. Interesting fact, there's an odd sense of joy in wounding the one you once called master. You're feeling that now, are you? In a moment, I'll let you taste some of that same sweet thrill yourself. Let's do this! No! Orochimaru is reanimating them? This is terrible! Disrespecting the dead and manipulating time! Don't let them kill you too quick. How dull that would be. Crap! <laughs> that really hurt! Who? <laughs> yeah! Huh? Hop, yeah, take this. Ow. Ha. Yikes. Yeah, yeah. Crushing the leaf village. the sand were on the move. Also part of your plan. History is always progressing. Sarutobi Senju. Anything you try is to win. I've won, and the leaf village will fall. Nothing's over till the end. Five style! As if Kamo Jutsu! You're steeped in darkness, and I will punish you accordingly! Yeah! <laughs> Your dream of crushing the hidden leaf dies here. Feeble old man, give me back my arms! How dare you take my jutsu from me! Farewell, Orochimaru, my disciple. And so the plan to destroy the hidden leaf failed. All ninja of the leaf had put their lives on the line in the fight to protect the village and thwart Orochimaru's foul scheme. Where the tree leaves dance, one shall find flames.
the fire shadow will illuminate the village, and once again, tree leaves shall bud anew. In his desperate battle with Sasuke during the tuning exams, Gara had flown into a nearly uncontrollable rage. In order to protect their ultimate weapon from himself in his disturbed state, Sand Ninja intervened to escape with Gara. Sasuke pursued them fervently, finally overtaking them in the Hidden Leaf Forest. I am not letting you get away. I'll give you a taste of true fear. I'll take on anyone to test my strength. Show me your power. Now, make me feel alive. Ow! Too slow. Hop! Who? Yeah! What's wrong? You haven't had my fill yet. Go on, entertain me more. I know you can do this. You're pushing your luck. Yeah! Take that! Phew! Say ya, say ya, say ya! Nice try! Yike! Phew! How do you like that? This outcome was inevitable. Victory is mine! Using Chidori, a devastating ninjutsu taught to him by Kakashi, Sasuke confronted Gara. However, Orochimaru had placed a terrible curse mark upon Sasuke. He suddenly found himself unable to move. Hold it right there! Naruto, what are you doing here? Just as Gara's sand attack was about to strike, Naruto rushed in just in time to save his friend. Oh?
In the same way as Naruto, Gaara hosted within his body a one-tailed spirit known as Shukaku. The only bonds that Gaara shared with others were shackles of hatred and murderous rage. And in his eyes, combat was only to be undertaken with the intent to kill or be killed. As Naruto fought for the sake of his friend, Gaara fought for himself only. Thus began a confrontation between two shinobi who had endured similar challenges, yet reached opposite conclusions. I'm gonna crush you! And all your little friends, too! My friends... are everything! I'll protect them to the end! What?! You're going down! Who? Yeah! Hop! See ya! Hop! Ha! Yeah! How's that? Yeah! Ha! Yeah! What's the matter? Ha! Ha! Kia! Yeah! Who? Kia! Yikes! Ow! Phew! Hup! Yeah! Kia! Hup! Hup! Kia! See ya! Hop! Hop! Yeah! Ha! 
How's that? Who? Who? Ow! Ooh. Too slow. Yeah! Yeah! Kia! Yeah! Yeah! Kia! You won't get away! Who? It's almost unbearable, isn't it? The feeling of being alone. But I have people in my life now who are important to me. I care more about them than I do myself, and I won't let anyone hurt them. To his final ounce of strength, Naruto caught Gara flush on the cheek with a full force blow. But it was not hatred that was behind the attack. It was the sympathy that only one who had shared similar experiences could express. I know that feeling. I've been there, in that dark and lonely place. this for anyone but yourself because they saved me from myself from my loneliness they were the first to accept me for who I am they're my friends friends So that's where his strength comes from. Knowing well the suffering of solitude, Naruto was able to empathize with Gara's feelings to a painful degree. And yet, Naruto now had important people in his life who accepted him, so he could not overlook Gara's aggression. Witnessing the power of love firsthand, Gara cast aside his bloodlust and departed with the aid of the other sand ninja. He left hoping that he too could emulate Naruto one day. All in a day's work.
Hả? That's more like it. All right. Yeah. Um. Yeah. Leave a like. Okay. See you next time.